I'm Chuck. And I'm Corey. And we're going to show you how to change your oil. And we're also going to check your brake fluid and transmission fluid and water. You need to change your oil about every 3, 3 to 5,000 miles to extend the life of your engine. Failure to do so will result in catastrophic failure. Uh, the supplies we're using today are we got a hydraulic floor jack to lift the uh, car up. Uh, on the ground up under the car, you got two jack stands to keep the car up while uh, Chuck's here working under the car. I don't like stuff to fall on my head. A pan to hold all the oil and a large adjustable wrench. We'll also need a filter wrench. Um, Corey's going to tell you about jacking it up. Well, you slide the floor jack up under the car and uh, put it down in the frame so it doesn't get in up the car and uh, pump the floor jack until it's a good height for to slide under and uh, put the jack stands up on the frame and just lower the the jack until it sets on the stands. First we have to take the plug out of the oil pan and then we and let all the oil drain out into this and then we take off the filter with the filter wrench. Okay, that's the drain plug. That's the oil pan. The oil filter's up here. But we'll do that later. Now, to drain all the oil out, you have to take this out. Now, you're gonna get greasy, so wear some greasy clothes, like I am. You just loosen this like you would a regular bolt until you feel this, until a tiny bit of oil starts to drain out, or you feel it's getting real loose. Then you set down your wrench and you take it out by hand, making sure the pan is under it. Now, this is the part where you get greasy. You let the oil drain out. Now I have the oil about to drain all the way out. It'll take a while. Because you want all the old oil to get out. There's little tiny chips of metal in there. And that's what messes up your engine. Now while your oil's draining out, do something useful. Okay, the next step is to take off the oil filter. You slide the filter wrench on there. Make sure you slide it on the wrong way or when you turn it you'll be tightening the filter. And what you do is you turn it just like you would a wrench. And if it comes loose, it's hard at first. But once it starts going, this one's on there pretty tight. And when it starts turning, it gets easier. I wouldn't say easy. Now, as it gets looser, you're gonna want to put your hand up there so you can catch it when it comes off. Or you'll get easy. Now you just twist it off with your hand. Make sure you have the pan under it. And after a while it'll come off. And you can dump it in the pan. Okay. Before you put in a filter, you want to make sure you grease this gasket. Because if you don't, it'll pull it out as you're twisting it in. So you get a little oil on your finger. And you just wipe it on. Make sure it's greased well. Or it'll rip out your gasket and all your oil will leak out. And you have to do it all again. Okay. Okay. Now you want to replace the filter. And you don't don't use a filter wrench when you replace the filter because hand tight is adequate. And you just twist it on there. Just like you twist anything on. And you get it to where it's snug. Or it's about as tight as you can get it by hand. And that's, that'll work. Next, you want to put the plug back in. 
so that when you put your oil in, it won't all pour out. And you hand tighten that, and then tighten with a wrench. You want that to be tight. Now that we've drained the oil and replaced the filter, we're going to fill the uh, reservoir back up. We got a funnel to uh, put in a reservoir, and uh, we're just going to start slowly draining the oil into it. Right, after we've uh, poured in the amount of oil required, which it says in your owner's manual, you'll need to check it. Just pull it out. Yep, it's full. Now we want to check our water. And you do not need to do this while the engine is still hot. Yep. And then we will check our uh, brake fluid. And both are full. Now we're going to check the transmission fluid. Check the transmission fluid. You first have to turn on the engine and make sure it's in park. And let it idle while you check it. Okay. And when you're done with your service, your car's as good as new.